Jagex just dropped part 2 of their developer diary dedicated to the art team and in this diary they share a first look into the Zamrak boss and the new wilderness. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is new Zamrak related areas, as according to Modstead, the Zamrak boss release and rework consist of more than just a new boss. They seem to be adding multiple new areas to the game, including an area called the Undercity in Centistan. In the post they showcase concept art of this new area, which you can see on screen now. The text on the concept art states that this undercity isn't equal to the surface, which leads me to believe it could potentially be just as large of an area, and it also mentions that the city is filled with demons, witches, and cultists, which could potentially be aggressive NPCs walking around much like the Goldrush Dungeon 3 fronts that have minions. I don't see why they wouldn't do this by the way because otherwise the city would feel pretty dead. The post also has concept art for an NPC called Coven that can wield multiple weapons and seems to have some kind of armor with three different tiers. Perhaps this is something related to the shards you can obtain from the boss and the current live invasion event. Now it could just be different levels of NPC, although I don't see why they would refer to this or different NPCs with different levels as tiers. The reason I mentioned that theory is because you can see the cultists here have different tiers of armor or looks as well, and cultists are most likely going to be NPCs walking around in that undercity. Next, we have the very first screenshot on the wilderness rework we have ever seen, at least I have ever seen. And this screenshot is obviously in a very well-known location, being the center of the wilderness volcano featuring that sword of Edix in the middle. Maud Chili, the lead environment artist of RuneScape, mentions that the new wilderness will feel familiar, but will have a greater range of color and atmospheric effects. For this to become reality, almost all assets have been replaced with new versions of them. Maud Chili also specifically mentions the following, I quote, We're breathing new life into the area and doubling down on that dark atmospheric tone which they describe with these keywords and images in the news post. The wilderness should be hostile, ruined, and desolate, and it should make the player feel threatened, anxious, and vulnerable. Hmm. Juiced up revenants, anyone? Next up, we have some pretty substantial images and GIFs on the Zamrak boss and its boss animations, and we even have an image of the boss arena itself. Moranti, the lead character artist of RuneScape, mentions that the art team is trying to push the limits and possibilities for this update, and it seems like they're actually pushing the limits because this Zamrak model is a huge jump in fidelity, which is what they're saying, and the rig requirements were so high that they hit their maximum bone limit with the Zamrak Zamrak model. Not sure why there's a maximum, but there's probably some kind of engine thing. I don't develop games, so I have no clue here. Maybe someone in the comments can clarify or explain what's going on there. Now in the post, they mentioned that the animations were quite complex to make due to the detailed character and rig of the Zamrak boss. And this animation you can see on screen is one of the two animations they showcased, where he kind of like attacks and then stabs the ground with his... Uh, fingers or wing fingers or basically just his wings now this is the second animation they showcased in the post and i wouldn't be surprised if they show us a few seconds of the boss fight over in the video tomorrow which i'll also cover or on the live stream covering more details about the boss this weekend in the post they kind of confirm that the zamrak boss will have some kind of mean spawn mechanic at least that is the impression i'm getting from these sentences they mention you not just fighting zamrak demons being conscripted into the ranks and even mention the word demon minions as well and they also, of course, talk about the graphical overhaul for demons, of which we can already see one in-game during those Zamrak invasion events. Now, in the attack animation clips, you could already see the scale of the boss itself, but this image showcasing the boss arena, or at least a part of it, which is supposed to be the center of the wilderness, by the way, that's what they said, you can really see the grand scale of the boss arena and Zamrak itself in this image, and you can see its evil, doom-looking red, which is typically Zamrak, of course, and it just looks fantastic. Now, since we'll be getting more information and hopefully footage of the new boss tomorrow and this weekend, I'll keep this video fairly short. One last thing I do want to mention though, is that according to MMORPG.com, Jagex is working or starting to hire people for an open world survival game set in the RuneScape universe in Unreal Engine 5. Now that is something I'd love to hear more about in the coming months or years. And on that bombshell of an announcement, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.